going vertically, I'm going to use, I'm going to do a branch coming from the bottom straight up. So my canvas set up vertically. If your canvas is set up horizontally, you can go straight across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now sketch in my leaf. Well, we know how a branch is. A branch is like a stiff, you know, just a normal stick. You can start off. Which is stiff. So that's this, this is what we're doing. So picture it as a what you can do is, you know, some branches they have the little thorns and all they, they stem off and they have leaves. So what you want to do is you're gonna go straight up. And you don't have to go straight to the top, you can just stop somewhere. I'm gonna put a little curve and curve it. Make it, make it a bit interesting. Okay. Okay, so guys, I'm just filling in that green. Make sure it's not transparent. Wanna make sure I get a solid green stem. Or branch, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna get that in there. And remember, this is just the basic dark green. Now, now that we have that in, let's put in some leaves. Maybe that could be fun. You know, a leaf is kind of like a, I don't know, that shape. Put in a leaf there. No, put one here. So all this is in our dark green. Because once you use that dark green, the dark green is basically like a big And now we are going to have a little leaf coming up here. That should be interesting. Right. So guys, if you don't want to go in and use a brush like I did, and you're more comfortable with using a pencil, you can use a pencil first, and then you can go ahead and you can use a paintbrush. You know. So what, whichever is more comfortable for you, um, you can do it. But when I'm painting, I, I switch up. Sometimes I would use a brush. And And what you're gonna do is I'm gonna put my brush in a, a water wash it because I want to clean the brush off because I want to get some of that light green when I mix previously. Now that we clean our brush off with our napkin, let's wipe it off. You can go and we can use the lighter green now. So this is this is how we, we 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 talk about light. So where, wherever the sun hits, if the sun is hitting less, of your, you you want to make your branch seem like the sun is hitting it. So my sun will be coming from my left. So what I'll do is I will then go ahead and I will put my light screen. Remember not to lose the dark green because our sun is a tad bit. If you want to wait until your branch is fully dried, then you can also drag. So what I'm hinting is my sun is coming from the left hand side. So wherever the sun is hitting on the left, there would be light. So hence, that's, this is where our light green is coming from.
So if you want to practice branches and painting branches, this is, this is like a technique to spontaneous use. It's all about the light, we have the lighting. Okay, so remember not to lose the dark green. Okay, so now we're gonna do one more. So if you notice, I still have that I still have that that nice dark green showing. So you still can see just a tad bit of dark. And I'm going to go put some uh, lighting on the leaves. Nothing simple, nothing too. Nothing too realistic. Just want to show where the light hits. Okay. Now we're gonna wash our brush off again. Now we're gonna do one more thing before we get straight to our butterfly. And we're gonna add some yellow in that green again. The more you light up, the green comes. Okay. So we're gonna do a really light green. And then we're gonna hit that one more time. So in future references, add some, instead of using white, add a little bit of yellow to your green. It helps a lot. And then you can move on to put white. So once I've added that yellow, okay. And put that in those leaves as well. So now, we've done that. Put those, those lights on that green leaf. You can now, and if you want to, an option is if you want to make it a bit lighter, you can add white. Just a little bit of white. You don't need much. The white is just pretty strong. White is a tint, remember, white is a tint. You don't, you don't really consider that at all. But you can add some white to it. Pack it. And you just, just, just to lighten it a bit, give it some of that. All right. Okay. There we go. So if you want to add some white, you can do so. And you can see where that sun is hitting from your branch. Now, now that we, we've done that, we can put our brush back in our cup. And if you want to use the exact same brush to your your butterfly, your caterpillar, your cocoon. You can do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a smaller flat brush. Whatever you're comfortable with. And if you don't want to draw a brush like I said with the branch, you can use you can use a pencil. So now our cocoon is what shape. Now if you want to go and look up your cocoon shape or how it looks, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use some, what am I going to use? I'm going to use some black paint. You don't have to use black. You can use any color to draw out. Or oh, like I said, you can use your pencil. So let's make it interesting. Maybe we should do it hanging down from maybe a leaf. You know, like a cone, it has this not round shape, it's almost like a pyramid. Pyramid shape, kind of. 
and it always had an interesting shape. It isn't a particular shape that it has, but if you do look it up and you search how, how it looks, it's going to kind of look similar to this here. But it does come in certain sizes, shapes, but this is basically, I think, how it would look, if I'm guessing correctly. Okay, so here's our little cocoon. And if you, if you notice sometimes, a butterfly cocoon, it kind of reveals the pattern of a butterfly. I don't know if anybody ever noticed that, but sometimes, when you look at the cocoon closely, it has the patterns, um, and you see the patterns of the butterfly. Let's just get this hand bit, just a little bit. So if you do your research, sometimes you will see the, what the butterfly's pattern would look like in some cases. So if you're using a paintbrush, make sure it's not small. And make sure the lines are a bit thinner if you can. And I'm using some broad lines. But let's make sure the lines are thin if you're using a brush. So now that I have drawn on, so that's a cocoon. We're going to add some color. And I'm not going to if you're drawing, if you're drawing or um, your imagination, you know, that's kind of like new. The rules apply in your head, so there's no particular color that you have to use. I'm just going to use what I have here, and I have some blues, I have some red, I have yellow, I have black. I have so I'm going to just take advantage of what I have, and I think I'm going to start off with maybe red. Let's start off with red. So, I'm just going to dab a little bit to the top. And anything goes. Stop that in. You go know lines a bit. Remember, these are just to draw the lines. You don't have to have any color on the line. There you go. Now, if you want to make it more interesting, you can have everything red and then just add in some color. So, Let's do it step by step. Let's make the top middle red. And what we're gonna do is let's add a little bit of white. Just to give it some highlights. And remember the light is hitting from the left side. So you just, this rule applies, this, 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 this little rule still applies, this rule applies to just a bit to make it make sense, you know, so that sunlight on the phone is hitting from the left hand side. And if you see, let's like, so go the white is overpowering the red, you can just add that in. And like I said, you don't have to use, you can, you can use yellow. I'm um, gonna go with some white again. I'm gonna put the lighting in different areas. But you're basically just doing this at home. Go back with that red. And then let's yellow. In that, finish your colors and see how it works out. You know, it wouldn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to play with colors. It's all about having fun with what you're doing. Um, maybe we can get some blue, dark blue, light blue, whichever your choice. Get that right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
brush gets a little bit too crazy with color, you can always wash it off again and keep wiping. And then we can go back and we can go back with some red. So as you can see, my color consists of red, yellow, blue. So it's all about, like I said, taking advantage of your palette. The colors on the palette. I'll go back in with some yellow. That's all that Push it up with some yellow. So now we have this colorful tone. And guys, later on, if you want to go back in and you want to um, add some details, you can do that as well. That's always fun. Put in some pretty decorative. Put in some pretty decorative lines. And. White. The only thing I want to be um, take note of is to make sure do not get out of your line of your drawing so it doesn't get messy or loses its shape. You want to take note of that. So right now I'm just blending colors, basically. Blending colors and making my own. own like I said, guys, you can go back and you can always clean up your your lines. So go back to make sure you still have your shape because you don't want to lose your shape. So and if you're using a pencil, remember that. The paint should cover your pencil line. You don't want to see the pencil line. So, if you see your pencil line, that means you do, you're not using enough paint. So, yeah, have fun with it. Then. So, I have this rainbow, colorful. As I said, guys, you can always go back. Clean it up, have fun with it. Pretty relaxing, I think. Ah, there we go. Have some white. Bit of white, just a little bit. I know sometimes we get excited with that white, so just small amount. And there, that's a pretty cocoon. I think so. Hope you all came out well. So now, our next step is the caterpillar. You guys know how a caterpillar looks like. You know they crawl. They have this these beautiful lines running through them they crawl they have those little tiny legs yeah you know so what i'm going to take what i'm going to do is take my black again and i'm going to where am i going to put my setup it can't it cannot hang from grass so we know that we're going to put it hmm, here doesn't have to be a giant caterpillar. Kind of you know they're pretty small and they do the curvaceous thing. Oops. Okay, so they curve. I think I might make that a bit thicker. Let me go up and do that right. So if you're not comfortable with your brush, you can definitely use a pencil. And 
any light pencil, H pencil, 2H pencil, whatever you're comfortable with, you can go ahead. Kind of, kind of look like at least little hot kind of happening. So that's basically our. And you know they have the little leg happening. Pretty cool. Now we can do the signs. Right here. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to clean off your brush, especially if you're using black. Keep it black. Keep it color. So you want to make sure your brush is nice and clean. If you have to change your water, you can do that. And then we can start over that red. Remember when I told you that sometimes when you use butterfly, it kind of, it, the spoon shows you exactly gives it, you know, the color the butterfly may be or the pattern you have. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to use my red. My yellows and my blues once again, like just how I did this before. And then we're gonna go with the bottom. So we kind of go in with the light hitting the top of the caterpillar. So go ahead and have some fun in coloring your pattern. I'm just doing it anywhere. I feel like cool. Staying in my lines just a bit. But I'm definitely keeping it. In the back. Now we're going to go back to our yellows. I'm going to go and use some yellow. Remember guys, you don't have to use the exact colors that I use. I'm just using the colors that I have available for me. So if you have purple and you have all those pretty colors and those variety of colors, use them. Make it colorful because butterflies are known to be colorful and have beautiful color schemes and all that. So here we are. Our butterflies. This is yellow. There you go. Now we're going to use some white. Remember, not too much white, I guess. Just enough to show where the light hits. This is what we're doing. Remember guys not to lose the shape of the caterpillar. But then you have to go and reshape it all over again. That can be fun as well. Thank you. Same thing as fun. Okay, so let's see some blue. So the more you play around with the colors, the more colors and um, the more you blend it and you're gonna see a lot of interesting things happen. That's the thing about using things. You never know. So we're gonna take some of that yellow. Not against the blue thing, that's that's So just take advantage of what you have. So if you want to get right under the line where you drew, you want to just take your time.
And if you see or so you need to add in some more, like more dark red, you can do that as well. And we're basically almost done. Yeah, so just play with it and you never know what you have. I'm sure when, if you practice this on your own time, you take your time, you're gonna come up with all kinds of interesting things. Believe me, I love painting butterflies. Pretty fun. So if you wanna just get back to just using just basic food, remember to clean your brush off a bit. And I guess I'm gonna put in some yellow. Add in some yellow. And... And I said, guys, if you want to go back and you want to clean it up and, you know, I don't know if you want to add in black lines or something like that, um, you can do that as well. You can always go back to as many times as you want until you're satisfied with it. That's the best thing about painting. You can always go back and keep on at it. That's all good. Here's a caterpillar. Now we're gonna go to the fun part, the butterfly, which is the last stage. Now, where are we gonna put our butterfly? If, if, if your painting is set up like mine, you can either do it on the right-hand side or the left-hand side, whatever one. I see I have a lot of space on the right-hand side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the right-hand side. Now, with a butterfly, you know what a butterfly is. It doesn't necessarily have to be on our other cocoon in our um, caterpillar. So let's just say our butterfly is going to Now, you can either do it with the wings open, spread open, or you can do side view of the butterfly, which I want is pretty fun. So I'm just going to do a side view. So here you can see our butterfly a little bit bigger. So once you're done drawing out your butterfly with either your pencil or your paintbrush, you can go at it and begin. So like I said, I'm just gonna stick with the colors I have and it's definitely gonna be similar to what you see here. And with your butterfly pad, you can play with it a little bit. I'm gonna put in some lines, maybe some circles. Um, yeah, so that they have a lot of beautiful patterns. So I'm just going to go into some lines for my butterfly. You can go crazy, whatever you choose to do. Zigzag, circles, curves, you know. I'm going to try to mimic that curvy um, pattern I started. So that's probably going to be six. And I'm using black paint. 
And as you can see, I have the front part, which is the front wing. And you can see just a little bit of the back wing. Yeah. Don't mind if it comes over the leaf, like you see it. Once you paint over it, you won't be able to see it. So if you want your butterfly wings to be spread over, you want it to be a point of leaf, you can do that. This is just a side. Now that I'm done with that, off the brush, okay. wipe it off a napkin, and now I'm going to have a little fun in cleaning my pot. So what I'm going to do is put some red here. I'm just gonna just choose where I would want my reds to be. And then I will switch up. What I'm doing different here is I'm actually keeping the black line. So I'm just coloring in the line. So I wanna keep that black line. I wanna keep that black line and I'm just painting it. Back wing, I can have a little bit of red. And now I'm going to use the yellow. What you can do is keep a blue because you see the sky blue. You can actually take advantage of that if you want to. else would I want yellow? I want yellow to be here. Like I said, guys, if you want to go back and you want to perfect your whatever your definition of perfection is. You want to perfect your butterfly and clean it up a bit and make it extra pretty. You can do that as well. But for now on, we're just going with it. Okay, so just add in a bit of light blue. Make it interesting. I'm gonna have to go back to the side. Light blue here and now. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna put some light blue here. Okay, pretty cool. Um, we're gonna use some white and red. Like I said, if you have other colors, I have this neon pink. I did. I did. You might even use something similar that you haven't touched and you add it. No big deal. You know, it's all about having fun with what you create. Get rid of a bit of highlights on those reds. Okay. And if you want to go back later on and just make this whole thing black, the butterfly says you can do that, but just uh, and make the wings as colorful and pretty. I said, you can always color in that blue. Or you can keep that dark blue. I'm going to add a bit of dark blue. Right. Okay. Okay. Going to add a bit of 
and have fun with it. And we're almost done. So we're going to use our black. We're going to go in here. And where I lost that shape at the top, we're going to go back in. Black line. Go back in there. That black. Okay, guys. Come with And Just gonna do some red. And there we have it. Here's a butterfly guy. So, like I said, guys, you can always go back in and you can perfect it however you want to. You can spend some more time, or you can just start all over again and you can go through the process. Um, use whatever colors you like. It depends on what you like. And just have fun with it. You know, painting is all about fun. And this is fun. It's kind of therapy. It's like therapy. So, yeah, guys. There you have it. Your butterfly. And your caterpillar and your butterfly. And this is actually fun, believe it or not. Just sitting outside and doing all that good stuff. And I hope you had fun fun with me. And I thank you guys for joining with me in this session. And I have, hope you have a great day. I have a great art day.